friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a very soft cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is grade 1 plus or grade 2 let us observe the banishment of this case by this time the main incision has been made viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber and now this is a paracentesis on the right side of the main incision and this is another paracentesis on the left side of the main incision. I usually make the side boards about two and a half to three clock hours away from the main incision. Now capsular excess is to be done. This is FISCO, 2% SPMC with the corneal epithelium. It improves visibility. Now, this 26 case band needle is used to incise the anterior capsule and raise a capsular tag. Now, I take a uterator forceps, tent the anterior leaf of the main incision, go all around and perform a fairly round, continuous, curvilinear capsular axis. Yes, the axis is done. Friends, this is a totally unedited surgery, real-time surgery. Now, hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed. Hydro delineation is also attempted. Now, as I do hydro dissection on the opposite side, see what has happened. The equator on the left side has come out of the bag and it is in the supracapsular space now. Yes, this is lens tilt. Lens tilt technique is being employed in this case. In this case, I am going to place the FACO tip on the anterior surface and the chopper goes on the posterior surface and see how beautifully you can crack the nucleus. Yes, your FACO tip is always at the plane of the anterior capsule though a part of the lens mass is in the supracapsular area. There is always a gap between the corneal endothelium and the lens mass. Endothelial protection is very good and there is no chance of posterior capsular rent with this technique. And this is completion of nucleus management and now some cortical matter is being seen on the right side visco is injected again and in this case I am going to use a 23 gauss Simco cannula to remove the cortical matter yes this is a very good instrument though this is very economic it is an excellent instrument to clean the cortex very safe and now the sub incisional cortex is removed the side ports are little larger than what you need in bimanual but still these side ports will close very nicely and the astigmatism that has been produced by the main incision will be neutralized to some extent by these little larger side ports. And this is hydroimplantation of a hydrophilic foldable intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and by a push of the left hand instrument the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag. And you can see the rexis is covering the optic all around. So the size of the rexis was ideal in this case. And now a little bit of irrigation of the anterior chamber is being done to remove the visco that was in the lumen of the cartridge. This is a bit of moxifluxacin. Now I use BSS to hydrate the sideboards. To 
hydrate the stroma on either side of these stab wounds and the lips of these stab wounds oppose by stromal hydration and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out at this time if there is any cortex somewhere that is also removed the antechamber is formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention in this case you have watched how we can prolapse one equator out of the capsular bag and use two instruments the phaco teeth and the chopper to crack it and divide the nucleus safely and emulsify it very easily thank you very much hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love respect empathy and great surgical skills